Hello, this is Jonathan, and I am the creator of OpenShot Video Editor. And in this official tutorial, we will take a look at trimming, slicing, and splitting video clips. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this in OpenShot, so let's just kind of jump right in. I'm going to drag three files into OpenShot. And let's start with Big Buck Bunny's trailer. So if you right click on any video or image or audio, you can select split clip. And this is one of my favorite ways um, to cut things up if you have a, a very long video file and you want to cut it up. You just simply select the start and click start. And then you select the end of a scene. So let's say maybe right here. And then if you want to name it, you can give it a name. Um, and what's going to happen is when we click create, it actually added a new video that's just this little moment that we selected. So we can start right here and let's pick a few different moments. Create. Let's find another one. This is always amusing. Start there. Let him get hit in the head. Create. Okay, so you can do this um, on all of your video files and just close this when you're done. And we have three um, video files that are already clipped. Um, so just to demonstrate, we can drag these down to the timeline, and you can see they're just the moments that we um, had had just. Um, chosen there. Um, another fun thing you can do is once you have your moments you've cut up, a very quick way to arrange them is just select them all and say add to timeline. Um, and you can even arrange them here if you have a you know a particular order uh, that you want to put them in. And then just say okay. And notice how it just inserts them wherever this red line is. Um, so that's a very quick way you know if you go and find a whole bunch of moments in a video that um, are interesting, then you can just quickly say, boom, add them all to the timeline. So another way um, we can do this is just dragging a video onto the timeline. And so as you can see, the entire uh, video is here. And just grab one side of the clip and just drag it. So this is probably one of the, and then we grab the end of the clip. Let's say we wanted to shrink the end of the clip maybe right here. So it kind of previews where you're dragging it. And then as you can see, it now shows us the shortened clip that we did just by dragging the edges. So um, another easy thing to do. So let's say that's not, that's also not what we wanted to do. Um, let me grab a different video here of Sentel. So let's just pretend um, that we found a moment here that was very perfect and and um, this is exactly where we want to start the clip. So once you've uh, positioned this red line, you can actually right click on on the little red line and say, um, do you want to keep both sides? Do you want to keep the left side or keep the right side? So let's say let's keep the right side. So notice that it cut off the left side of the clip and starts us exactly at this position that we were previewing. Um, and we can do the same thing over here, let's say we wanted to stop it right there. Keep left side. So now essentially we've just trimmed the edges off without having to drag them, right? We just put the red line and said cut and keep this particular side. Um, okay, so that's another way you can do it. So let's um, go with another example here. Let's say you had more than one video and let's put two different videos here and you want them to both start at this particular moment. Now we're not seeing the clip behind, we're seeing the one on top, but let's just pretend that this is where we want all of our clips all the way down the timeline to start. Um, we can cl right click on that line and say keep the right side and it cut every single clip that that red line intersects. So again, a really fast way, especially at the um, the beginning and end of videos where you want to, you know, you have a lot, lots of different videos and they're not quite all lined up and you just want to chop them at a certain spot. So um, another very useful thing to do. So let's say you had, um, let's say in this example, we only want to cut the top clip, not the bottom clip, and we want to keep just the left side, uh, but we don't want to touch the one below. So another thing you can do is position the red line, which which we call the playhead, FYI. Um, position that where you want to cut it, let's say right here, 
and, and right click on the clip you want to affect. And then just simply go down to slice. This is off the screen here, um, but there is a, a menu. You right click on the clip, say slice, keep left side. Um, so you can do that on a specific clip, or if you um, if you do it on the red on this little blue handle on the red line, if you do it there, slice all will slice everything that it intersects. Okay, so now we have one more way. Let's go ahead and clear that. Um, one more way to adjust. Let me grab some. Let's grab one that we've already clipped. Um, let's grab this one and zoom in a bit. So this is a, a moment that we clipped earlier. So let's say that it just wasn't quite right. We wanted to make some small adjustments to this clip. We can also right click and say properties. And then over here on the um, clip properties, we can actually go down to start and end. We can actually filter these. So I can actually adjust the starting point of the clip or the position. Let's just do the start. So I can just click this and drag and make the clip longer and shorter just by adjusting the starting point. And I can do the same with the end of the clip. So I can adjust the end of the clip just by clicking and dragging in this, in this gray area. So that's a pretty, uh, and then you can also double click and enter whatever value you want. So if you have the specific length you need a clip to be, you can enter it um, over here. So, and then also you can adjust the position of the clip just by dragging your mouse back and forth. So, um, and even one more, you can adjust the track that the clip um, appears on just by dragging your mouse. So lots of interesting things you can do on the clip properties if you can't find any other way uh, to get the precision that you are looking for. Okay, so there's one more way to trim, and this is a fan favorite from the um, original version of OpenShot. We have a razor tool, which is one of the icons on this toolbar. And if you select it, I don't know if you can see the icon here. Um, it's a little uh, razor blade with a dotted line. And so everywhere you click, it will cut. Um, so as you can see, it just cuts and cuts and cuts. Um, and you can do that. The only problem with this tool is that you don't have um, the precision, you know, you don't have a preview of what you're cutting. So you kind of have to, you know, it's, it's pretty good if you're just doing real rough cuts, right? Um, you just want to chop off little pieces that you know aren't supposed to be there. Um, otherwise, I think one of the previous methods is probably more accurate and, and a better way to cut things. So in summary, we took a look at um, quite a few different ways to trim and split and splice and whatever word uh, you want to use. Uh, OpenShot is very flexible. There's a, a lot of different ways to accomplish things. Um, and so I hope this video was useful and might have taught you one or two ways to cut clips that you didn't know about. Um, I will see you in the next video.